Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday. Start of the work week here is upon us about uh, 9.07 a.m. California time. October 14th, 2024 is the date. Uh, latest activity here shows some movement across the New Zealand area. Uh, coming in right now with a 5-pointer, 5.0 earthquake coming in. Some reports being felt out here as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, actually, quite a few reports coming in from this 5.0 earthquake. Uh, not showing up yet on the EMSC side or the USGS side. This is from the uh, GeoNet servers. And uh, let's check out the seismograph station here. There's the reading from that earthquake. Of course, this seismograph station is positioned a little bit further south, uh, roughly about uh, just outside the Wellington area. This five pointer coming in north here of the North Island region fairly deep about 235 kilometers deep here for this earthquake and again it's being felt uh, all over north the uh, east side of the north island region with uh, so far 135 reports coming in i'm sure that will amp up a little bit uh, mainly let's see what we got for shaking out here looks like weak maybe a few folks closer to the epicenter reporting some light uh, shaking in there as well so We'll continue to keep an eye on it. Uh, it is a um, deep earthquake. And of course, what sits out there is the, um, it's going to be the northern end here of the Hikarangi subduction zone. So that earthquake strike uh, struck right about here. So yeah, I would say definitely the uh, north side of the Hikarangi, maybe the Kermadec Trench. I don't know if it's that far up north, but uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on that. One of the latest quakes out there on the map. Uh, California, not a whole lot going on out here right now. In fact, if you look at the 2.5 map and above, it's pretty quiet. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of activity south here into the Gulf of California. Now, if you look here on the Earthquake 3D globe, you can see some of that activity showing up with some four, even a four pointer, 4.2, and some other threes in the vicinity of the Gulf of California. So we do have some activity stirring up here. Hasn't really worked its way up into Southern California yet, but I suppose uh, that should be changing here soon. Uh, just just in general, we should expect some movement up north here uh, whenever we see activity south here along the Gulf of California. Just the way the, uh, the plates work out here, so we'll continue to watch that uh, as far as Southern California goes. I better turn off the Earthquake 3D bells, right? I noticed that they were just on, so that's always an interruption there when I'm trying to chat. Uh, so aside from that, uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on Southern California, uh, Pacific Northwest area. Seen some uh, smaller quake activity there from yesterday. Uh, let's check out the latest largest magnitude today. Um, I believe it's going to be that five-pointer strike in the New Zealand area, which has not shown up yet on the USGS side of the data. Uh, aside from that five-pointer, a 4.9 up here off the coast of Japan earlier this morning looks like uh, another earthquake out here just an hour prior a little bit closer to tokyo of course this that puts this area in the uh, prime for some further earthquake activity this is that subduction zone here that the japanese government put out a mega quake warning for after a series of earthquakes over here in this area so we got uh we got that to worry about as well that's very capable of producing uh, some very large earthquakes Let's see here. There we go. EMSC now reporting that earthquake uh, 5.1, 254 kilometers deep. It may take the USGS a few more minutes to uh, jump on board with the uh, data. But uh, let's let me double check what GeoNet servers here are saying. I know they mentioned a 5 pointer. It looks like they're holding steady with that 5.0 magnitude still sitting out of preliminary data uh, so this could get revised hard to say but uh, 171 folks out there reporting the uh, earthquake all right let's take a look here at the rest of the country as far as anything major going on out here uh, a lot of older activity here from yesterday kind of watching the south carolina area they've had a little bit of swarming here yesterday mainly in the two range out here in this area of the uh, country they have uh, some fault systems out here 
that uh, produce some large earthquakes on occasion. Been a little while since we've seen that big one down there across the uh, the area of North Charleston region. Can't remember exactly when that was, but uh, they've seen some bigger earthquake activity out there historically. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here as far as any major worldwide activity goes. Alaska still moving up here, although a lot of this from, uh, well, there's a few microquakes out there today, but uh, majority of this from yesterday. Uh, looks like all of our newer activity here we can notice on the globe, uh, mainly across the uh, western areas of the Filipino plate. And now we're getting some adjustment going on down here across New Zealand. 5.2 looks like it's getting upgraded a little bit. Um, some deeper activity prior to that movement uh, across the Tonga Trench and the Kermadec Trench. So we are working our way down here across the plate boundary of New Zealand. They've been uh, noticing a little uptick here in the last 30 days or so in terms of you know moderate movement. At a 5.1 here on the 5th. This would make it the second 5-pointer here if we include uh, the one that's coming in right now which is not this is not going to be it this is a 4.3 from uh, back in september but we got uh, some uptick going on here across new zealand we'll definitely keep an eye on that uh, area space weather movement well a little bit of inflare activity earlier this morning nothing big low grade inflare there looks like a 1.8 Aside from that, no major roars in the forecast. A number of sunspots obviously facing us and uh, do harbor some potential for some flaring. I don't think we're going to see anything of significant value from this area. Our, our more active regions are now disappearing off the western limb out here. So those will head out and we're left with this area and not a whole lot behind that. We'll have to see what the sun wants to do but i think we're going to enter into a little bit of quiet period here um, because these sunspots do not look all that impressive in terms of complexity in producing any type of solar flaring um, again no major roars in the forecast slight elevated activity maybe on the 16th i don't think that's going to uh, materialize but we'll see here's the current aurora conditions not a whole lot going on there I just checking the uh, sea surface temperatures out here uh, across the Pacific. Quite warm here. Uh, we are noticing that La Nina pattern out here. This area is the region to watch when it comes to determining the period between El Nino or a neutral status or La Nina. And it looks like we're starting to get into the La Nina pattern here with bluer, uh, indicating some cooler sea sur uh, sea surface temperatures out here but quite warm out into the pacific i just kind of comparing that with uh previous la nina years that's 1981 this thing goes way back but uh pretty neat to monitor this is 2019 here when we had a uh that was a el nino year and then the following uh, year, I think we had a La Nina there for 2020. I, I, I'm hoping we don't have a 2020 type year because I think we only picked up three inches of rainfall the entire winter out here across California. It was one of the driest years I've ever seen out here. I'm hoping that doesn't ring true. Uh, it was either 2019 or 2020. I can't remember exactly, but uh, yeah. It was quite dis disappointing. I'm a weather guy, so I like to see stuff falling out of the sky. Preferably uh, the wet stuff, rain and whatnot. But uh, we'll see how this plays out. There's the La Nina setting up quite warm in the Pacific. We'll see how that uh, adjusts. So numerical models out here, as far as anything major going on. Got some uh, cooler systems coming into California, Pacific Northwest as well. Bringing with it the threat of some white stuff out there. I would love to have some white stuff out here. It's October, right? It's supposed to have snow. Well, I don't know about snow on the ground, but uh, it's supposed to be a lot cooler. And we do have some cooler temperatures along with some rain and snow and even maybe some severe weather out here as we head towards next weekend. Got a little pattern set up here, it looks like, that wants to produce some uh, uh, 
dynamic uh, setups here for severe weather. We'll definitely watch that and see how that plays out. Nothing major in the tropics for now. Let's take a look at the National Hurricane Center. Nothing in the eastern Pacific, central Pacific out here. Nothing. The Atlantic Ocean may be a chance of formation out here in the next week or so. Well, that's way out, way out there. So in the next seven days, we've got uh, maybe a 50% chance of some type of tropical formation here. Uh, but we'll watch and see where that goes as we get a little bit closer into uh, into that time period. Let's see if USGS is picking up on it yet. Uh, nope. Zip zero, nada. Um, EMSE sticking with a 5.2, it looks like. So we'll go with that. 5.2, pretty deep underneath the uh, North Island area. I'll keep an eye on this. We got some major deep activity working this way across the plate boundary. Uh, yesterday, we had a couple earthquakes south here of the South Island, just off the Alpine Fault. That uh, is another fault system out there that can produce some large earthquakes. And I hear that's overdue as well. So New Zealand, definitely a place to watch here. Uh, we're still expecting an eight-pointer out here somewhere. Uh, it normally pops up one every year. If not every year, then it's going to be every other year for an 8.0 earthquake. Uh, the last one was back in 2021. So we're looking at three years past with no eight, no eight pointer out here. So things are, I think it's coming. The question is where California, again, not moving too much right now, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that with the uh, activity working its way up the plate boundary here slowly, but surely have a good Monday folks. We'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on. Stay safe out there.